Well, today is the last day of school for several districts in our area, including IPS, Speedway, and Brownsburg. We're going to get to Samantha Johnson, who's live in Brownsburg there this morning. Sam, no, there aren't any students at, at that school right now. Tell us where you are. That's right, and that's because we are inside Crossroads Elementary. This is a brand new elementary school set to open this summer. In fact, we know these shelves will be stacked with books here in just a matter of weeks, but we've still got a lot of work to do. You can see a lot of machinery still in the school to make sure everything is ready to go this fall. So we wanted to know, one, is the school still on track to open to students this fall? And two, how were they able to staff a brand new school in what some are calling a teacher shortage? Take a listen. Just as students are preparing for the start of summer, staff at Crossroads Elementary are looking ahead to the fall. I've had a lot of first days of school, and I don't think I've ever had a feeling like this of, of what that's going to be like. That's Principal Tim Cooper, who says construction is on track. Most of the classrooms have been final cleaned already and are ready for furniture that is going to start arriving on June 5th. Teachers set to move in in just about a month. There's just a level of excitement right now about starting something new and something fresh. Crossroads will be home to about 650 students thanks to a redistricting plan. And so we started that process in, in early fall. More than 100 parents and school staff coming up with ways to get K through 5 students into a new school. And as for teachers, Mr. Cooper says Crossroads is already fully staffed, even in the midst of a teacher shortage. According to the Indiana Department of Education, there are close to 2100 open jobs right now. And teachers told our Verify team they are burning out for two main reasons, being overworked and underpaid. But Mr. Cooper says teachers are moving to and staying in Brownsburg. Honestly, I think it's just the, le the multiple levels of support that we provide teachers across the district. He says for the Bulldogs, the technique is simple, letting teachers teach. Right now, Brownsburg is one of the highest performing districts in the state, with all of its schools getting an A from the Indiana DOE. So as the work wraps and the dust settles, these halls soon welcoming the first class at Crossroads. And it'll be here before we know it. Teachers welcomed into the building really at the beginning of July. And then the first day for students will be here before we know it. Coming up on August 2nd, Julia and Julia, we right now are in the media center. And we've even seen work crews here already this morning to make sure everything is ready to go. Of course, a lot of work to finish up, some finishing touches here. But they're excited about this new school here in Brownsburg. I bet school's getting out for the district, but they're like just getting ready to yeah. get started making this school a possibility. Thank you, Samantha.